Hey, welcome to another video from Ron Johnson, Life Coach. And today was kind of the first week or first day in Bellingham, Washington. And this morning I do my normal ritual. My alarm goes off at 3.50 a.m. Of course, I have to have my cup of coffee. I wake up at 4 a.m., get out the bed. I sit, I read my books. Um, right now I'm staying in Airbnb. And obviously with Airbnb, it's pretty much renting out like someone's condo, or in this case, it's a downstairs, ba downstairs basement converted into a two-bedroom, one-bath, kind of small apartment, I guess. You know, it's pretty spacious, pretty big. So I read usually, and then I get dressed this time to the gym at 6 a.m. because I like the morning workout, get in, get it done, or rest day free. So I had a great workout. Today was leg day for me because I'm done legs in like a week. You can't skip leg day. And... On a way drive home, it's like an 11 minute drive from the fitness place to the Airbnb. And as I'm getting close to Airbnb, which is probably about, you know, half a mile away, all of a sudden I felt this excruciating pain in my gut. It's like I got punched in the stomach. Have you ever got punched in the stomach or fell and got the wind knocked out of you? That happened this morning to me. And it was, what happened is, it wasn't literally I got punched in the gut or I fell, it was the thoughts I created in my mind. And usually what happens is that we have thoughts we create in our mind, which causes us either stress, anxiety, frustrations, uh, fears, and doubts. And depending upon what belief system you have, you know, what fears that come up for you, fear of public speaking, fear of being in big crowds, fear of putting yourself out there, all these fears can, can be monumentous. So for me, my fear is lack and lack of is not having enough money to survive. So obviously I'm excited coming to Bellingham, Washington. It's new frontier in my life. Um, we're excited. And it hit me right in my gut, like, wait a minute here. Uh, I don't have any personal training clients this morning. I'm used to, you know, every Monday and I have training clients. I train them three, four clients in the morning, then a break, then a client or two, about 12 to one, and then in my evening clients. I don't have any more clients right now. I'm training one-on-one. -on -one. And right then there, oh, here comes the anxiety, the worry. What should I be doing? What am I not doing? What can I do? What what should I do? Is this shoulda, 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 which... You know, obviously creates more thoughts. So when I said I got punched in the gut, is I created that own fear and doubt. As I told before in my other videos and podcasts, fear means false evidence appearing real. I was creating those own thoughts because lack of not having enough money to sustain a, a life, right? And of course, you need money to, to pay your bills. But for me, this is very crucial for you guys out there. If you're at a moment in your life right now where you're interested in taking a risk or you're doing something you normally don't do, quitting your full-time job, security, been a job 20 years, you want to quit, been in the three years, you want to quit, you're going to start a new company, unknown. I always ask myself, uh, if not now, when? But this time, it was like, okay, I don't have clients, I don't have money, what do I need to do? That took 10, no, it's like 10, I took three deep breaths and I said to myself, Ron, you will make it. Ron, you're going to do it. Don't not have nothing to worry about. And the reason why I say these things to myself is that if I don't encourage myself, I give myself self-care, these things keep showing up over and over. And you have to give yourself self-care, right? Creating those thoughts. If we're creators and create things daily, okay, so what thoughts are you want to create? My thought I want to create in that moment of uh, uh, get punched in the gut was I'll be okay. And that's the same thing I said to myself. When I took that leap almost four years ago and I quit my full-time job, I said, Ron, you'd be okay. But that time I said, Ron, you'd be okay and I'd do whatever it takes. This time, the same thing came up. Ron, you'd be okay, do whatever it takes. But this time, I'm going to do whatever it takes with experience. See, when I quit my full-time job, do personal training full-time, I had zero experience. It's like paving a dirt road for the first time. There may be some bumps in there. It may be some potholes. You don't know if the water underneath. But that right now, more experience told me I'm doing what I can, I'm going to trust the process, and I will get what I want. Because one thing I read in this book, How to Own Your Own Mind by Napoleon Hill, so I read, listened to, my way to Bellingham, Washington, was How to Own Your Own Mind. At that own right there, I may change my thoughts to you'll be okay, you have experience, and you're doing what you want to do. So thus, I'm changing the energy factor from negative, which are those thoughts we create, from positive, which allow me now to be okay. So when I, that stress was coming up and was rising, I had less uh, space in my mind. So when you're stressed out, you don't think properly. Most of us don't. But in that instance, by just saying those simple words to myself, which you can do yourself, is if not now, when, and you'll be okay, it creates more space in your mind for creativity. So that's why I'm shooting this video now because it created more space in my mind. I called it, I got punched in the gut because what it felt like, that anxiety was coming up, and I will be okay. And that's how you change your, your scenarios, you change your, your life, you change the mindset is what thoughts you want to create. If I create a thought, I'm going to hold on to that thought. And that thought's going to help me 
and help me with what I want to do in my life. And same thought, depending on whatever you do in your life, will thus help you. So again, you know, if not now, when? Always think about that. Always think about you will be okay. But this time I do more knowledge. So you can say to yourself, I will be okay. I do whatever it takes. Because if you don't take the risk, you will start to say to yourself, five years down the road, 10 years down the road, six months down the road, man, I regret this. I'll give you a perfect example. When I quit my full-time job, you know, before I quit, I gave my uh, VQ called Voluntary Quit. I met it was to my manager. My director was on vacation at the time. So he came back. He puts his feet on his table and he says, so why are you quitting? I told him, well, I'm quitting because I'm not expanding here at Fry's Electronics. And he then said, well, what about your 401k? What about, you know, a job stability? What about this a day? There is no 401k. All right, because Fry's says match 401k. So any money I put in is my own money. Second thing, I'm not growing. And it doesn't really have to be money most of the time. It's just that, do you, are you worthy? Or is your job validating you? Or are they saying, please, are they saying, thank you? Are you learning anything new? Are you challenging yourself? So when you're in a job right now, we're getting ready to take that risk and getting ready to quit. What's better off? Staying at that full-time job, putting up with things you hate, not showing up 100%, not giving the best energy. Because what happens if you don't show up 100%, your teammates, your bosses tend to see that and they say to themselves, well, Sally's not showing up 100%, you know, Sally may not get a raise this year. But what lies in that from, from fear to taking that risk is achieving what you want because if you know your purpose, you can achieve what you want anytime you have a purpose. And by having a purpose, it's not, not copying what someone else is doing, but believing you can do it and you'll be able to do anything you want. So thank you for listening to another vlog from Ron Johnson, Life Coach. And always, I'm here to inspire you, motivate you, and let you know you have all the power inside you.